Harvest time is a season when a lot of us out in rural America have plenty of time to do some thinking. Whether we're sitting in the combine cab or the grain cart cab or the semi truck cab or just helping out with the other odds and ends around the farm, we get plenty of time to dwell on our industry. Max has also been doing some thinking and he's had a few things on his mind. Mike, I have to say volunteerism has been on my mind over the past few days, especially as we come into National Fire Prevention Week and after a high profile incident that we saw just about a week ago. You know, in the rural communities all across the country, we don't have many professional first responders. There are law enforcement officers who many times are full time. There are some emergency medical personnel, certainly the people at hospitals, but many of the first responders in rural communities are volunteer firefighters, volunteer EMS personnel. Yes, they have trained. They have a limited amount of training. Some of them have to train on a regular basis to be sure but it's not like they are full-time professionals. These are people who have other jobs. They are teachers, preachers, physicians, many farmers and ranchers across America who come responding at a time of need. That's what happened on Saturday afternoon a week ago when the Empire Builder headed west in Montana between Joplin and Chester, Montana, had that derailment along the tracks. The chief investigator for the National Transportation Safety Board out on that scene praised the first responders. He said 98% of them were volunteers. And if you look at photographs of that accident scene, you look around at the people standing out there, nobody was wearing protective turnout gear, such as that issued to full-time firefighters or volunteer fire departments. These were people who came running. They dropped what they were doing on that Saturday afternoon to respond in a time of need. It's a reminder, I guess, to many of us when we're traveling across the heartland of America, whether we're on the interstates or we're on a, an intercity train, that we may very well be in better hands than we thought simply because there are dedicated volunteers who come responding in a time of need. That's that ethic out there in the countryside of man helping man. It's uh, something I thought we should keep in mind here as we go into National Fire Prevention Week, Mike. Thank you, Max. And I think it's worth noting that that spirit of volunteerism is alive across the country. 67% of all firefighters in America are volunteer. This Week in Agribusiness is proud to salute those who take their time to keep their communities safe.